Hi, this is Joey here with this week's trending web topics. Before we get started, I would like to acknowledge every week I try to find the topics that you're all searching online and I like to present them to you in a humorous and fun and joyful way. It would be impossible to talk about the topics that are trending this week without mentioning what happened in Boston at the Boston Marathon. I'm going to purposely choose not to discuss that this week because I believe that there are many places on the internet you can find everything you want at this point. If you're looking for news, if you're looking for commentary, you can find it. And I don't believe that you're coming to me for anything except nonsense, fun, joy, and humor. So that's what I'm gonna give you. These are this week's web trends. Let's start with the Biebs. Justin Bieber visited Anne Frank's house, the museum in Amsterdam, and signed the guest book. Truly inspiring to be able to come here. Anne was a great girl. Hopefully she would have been a believer. Okay, I'm trying to appreciate the sentiment behind this note, but let's be honest. When you're looking at Anne Frank's life and you're wishing different things for her, being a fan of Justin Bieber might not be at the top of my list. It should be said, though, that the representatives from the museum came back and actually uh, were pleased and supported Justin's note. I also got to wonder how many zeros were at the end of that check that Justin Bieber must have written to the museum. I'm just saying. Twitter has launched a new music app called Twitter Hashtag Music. Or maybe just calling it Twitter Music. I've never heard it said out loud. It's brand new. What it is, it is an app that um, links music to your Twitter account. So basically, you can get music suggestions from your friends. It's actually turned out to be a pretty cool app, and what it's gonna do for the music industry is pretty huge because you don't necessarily listen to the music through the app, but it does let you link to go buy the music. So all the artists are still getting their same money, which is nothing, and you're gonna start following more of your favorite artists. So this pretty much looks like a win-win. Ooh, there were some rumors this week that the cast of Friends was going to reunite for one season on NBC. And that rumor proved to be completely false. I mean, there's a part of me that would have been excited to kind of see the whole cast reunite. But then when you think about what each one is doing individually right now, I mean, Courtney Cox and Matthew Perry have their own primetime shows right now. Jennifer Aniston has revived her film career. Lisa Kudrow is still doing hysterical stuff with her web therapy show. And Matthew LeBlanc has found success on the show episodes. David Schwimmer is doing the voice for Madagascar, I think. Sorry, David, this, this could have been pretty good for you. You guys, Amanda Bynes, what's going on? Do we need to organize some sort of an intervention? She's now taken to tweeting photos and a crazy ass video of herself getting ready. I think the video is called something like, me sucking on a warhead while I'm playing music, getting ready to go out and do crystal meth. I mean, I don't know what was happening at this video, but just take a look. Is this the same girl that was in that cute little the Nickelodeon show? And then she was, she was in that, sh he's the man, is that the man? She had some cute movies when she was young. And now look at her, she looks like hatchet face. There's a new YouTube trend called the condom challenge. This is actually people are shoving a condom up their nostril and then pulling it out through their mouth. I'm pretty sure that this is number one, not safe, number two, not smart, and number three, have you ever smelled a condom? It's like sticking it up my nose is probably, well, no, it's certainly the last place I wanna put a condom. There's a great video that was put up by Dove Soap this week where, um, women were describing themselves to a forensic artist who couldn't see them and then he would sketch based on how they described their faces. It's really a very touching video, but it does show us that we think that we are a lot uglier than we actually are. This has inspired me to start a new rule with the people around me where if you insult yourself physically, then I require you to say three nice things about yourself. For example, I've got great eyes, I got killer legs, and I have a very distinct smile. I don't have All right, so that's it. That's what's trending this week. Listen, people, it's been a tough week. Let's hope for better stuff next week. Take care of each other, take care of yourself, and more importantly, take care of me, okay? Like or share or click. It's good. I'm done. Turn this off.
This is a hot week. This is tough. I'm going to keep on going. Because listen, it doesn't have to be good. It just has to be weekly. What if that's my catchphrase? Isn't that sad? What happened? How about that? We're going to need a new graphic back here. All right, that's it. I'm done. This is crazy. I'm out. I'm out.